Well, spring is in the air and I'm excited to bring to you our new spring products and I'm going to teach you a spring look. So if you look closely, my eyes are a little uneven, but I'm going to show you how I created that look um, to be ready for spring. But to start out, your catalog should have arrived and on page seven was this amazing I can't, I put it back behind my computer. This amazing new fragrance. So I'm curious if you have not smelled the Boundless Blue yet, go grab your catalog, look on page seven when we finish here and check it out because it's limited edition and it's selling very quickly. Um, our inventory is already a low inventory. It has um, bergamot, citrus, and sea salt. So it almost smells like the ocean, like a crisp, fresh day at the ocean is how people are describing it. And I love it. I don't wear a lot of fragrance. Um, I'll be honest, but I am loving this one. So page seven of your lookbook, if you want to check that out. And um, if you try it and don't love it, we have a hundred percent money back guarantee as well, but I'm going to encourage you. If you want that, better grab it quickly. Um, the other fun thing that we have for spring are three awesome um, hand creams. And these are a nice size, like they could fit in, you know, like a larger purse, nice to have on your desk. But um, I think like a little bit of aromatherapy, right? Just to give you a boost for spring. So the first one is our Island Jasmine and um, hints of the island, really, again. Um, but the Jasmine gives it just a hint of warmth, which is unusual in a hand cream. Um, so I happen to love that one. Um, and then we have, I can't read all these. Look, we did tell the company about the packaging. You can't even read the names, right? This is our passion fruit in the pink. And um, that's going to be, you know, exactly like passion fruit, kind of light and crisp um, in that sense. And then our purple is our berry and rose. And some people say this one is, has a hint of what they think is like almost a coconut to it as well. So if you're a fan of something like that, you'd love that one. So those are your hand creams. And um they're limited edition, but they're great for Easter baskets, Mother's Day, um, just little gifts that you need, appreciation gifts, just a little something extra to add to a gift. So those are your hand creams. Um, and then our other regular line product that is in the catalog. I know so many of you are excited about this. I'm excited about this. It's a mineral-based sunscreen. So mineral sunscreen is made with zinc oxide. And zinc oxide literally gives a physical barrier to the sun. So a lot of the other sunscreens that we currently wear, they um, diffuse the rays of the sun so that they don't burn our skin, that they don't damage our skin. Because um, remember, your UVA rays that age your skin are the same all year long, your UV. UVB rays <laughs> that um, that damage your skin and burn your skin. UVB burn, UVA ray, age. Um, the UVA stay the same all year long. The UVB ones are the ones that intensify with the season change. Um, but this blocks all of them and literally diffuses them, not diffuses them, deflects them right off your skin. Um, and what I love is, you know, sometimes we think zinc oxide and those of you that grew up in my era, <laughs> you know, white noses that we used to wear at the beach. Um, but this one blends in so nicely and I put so much on, oh my gosh, I need like a, a quarter of that. Um, but this one blends in so nicely and it feels smooth and not greasy, but it doesn't create that whiteness, right? There's no, you know, it doesn't create that white film or anything. It's really, really smooth. Um, and it blends in easy compared to rubbing the zinc oxide that we might remember of the 1980s. Um, so that is your mineral-based sunscreen as well. And then the other thing that's not in the catalog that's new, that was a surprise pop-up for us, comes with this cute little heart-shaped pumice stone, but, um, and a nail file, rosemary, and mint, which are two of my favorite things put together. I have a shampoo that's rosemary and mint that I love. Um, and this is, you have a foot scrub and a foot lotion. So foot scrub and a foot lotion for your little at-home pedicure set. So to maintain in between your pedicures, keep your feet fresh and smooth between your pedicures or to do your own pedicures at home. So you would use the scrub, maybe soak them in water first to soften them, scrub it up, use that pumice stone, buff off all the dead dry skin, and then put that rosemary mint lotion on. And you can put the lotion on as much as you want. You can use the scrub a couple times a week um, and just build it into your routine to keep them put together. Also another great little gift. I love the packaging. I think it's super cute. I'll tie a big bow on that and you have a gift all ready to go. So those are your spring products that are in the catalog or 
available online. And now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna teach you how I created the spring look. Now this is a different color for me. I don't typically wear much green on my green eyes, but we're gonna go ahead and start out. So this is called the lucky, lucky you look. Um, and so biscotti, hazelnut, gold status, and then our moss. But I'm going to go ahead. Um, I have put my liquid eyeshadow on already. If you know me, I wear my liquid eyeshadow every day kind of as my base. So that is already on, you know, has been put on my eye. And now we're going to go ahead and come in and I'm going to put on the hazelnut first. And again, a lesson in your brushes. If I want a hint more color from that, I'm going to use the tightly wound um, more tight, more tighter bristles of our angled brush than I will of the blending brush. This one would make it a little bit softer in appearance. Okay. So I did the angled brush first to put that hazelnut and I put it above the brow based on my eye shape. See how that gave depth to my eye, like right away. And then the next color, and these are all mix and match. Like this is just the special color, um, palette look for the month of March, but you can mix and match anything that you want as far as your color palettes and things. So now I'm putting that green on, but I'm keeping that just on my lid because my eyes kind of have the green in them. And so I don't want to do a lot to counteract them. So you can see it almost like a liner then along the top of my eyes, right? So again, if you that deeper set eye contour with the browns, your neutrals, I'm adding the pop of color just on the lid so that when I blink or you look closely, you'll see it but it doesn't pop out at you real loud the entire time. And then I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna use the gold status next, okay? And put the gold status in there. And again, I'm using the accent brush for that because I want it to have a little bit more pop and stick to it than I do from the bigger blending brush. You know, that bigger brush always makes it a lighter application. Okay, and so now the gold is in there. And now what I love now here is when I'll use the blending brush and I'll use the biscotti, the lightest one, and I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna blend along that top edge with that light biscotti, just to blend the edge away, soften it. And then I'll use whatever's left on the brush to just soften and blend as well, any lines between the green, the gold, and the hazelnut. See, and now it looks like a blended, almost gradiated type of look. So those brushes really do matter. Everything but the blending brush is in our brush set, but they're also available individually. So, but that's your spring look. And then I do have eyeliner on. It's really hard to tell, right? I do have eyeliner on this eye. I don't have it on this eye, but you all know the way I apply my mascara <laughs> that I wiggle it on so much at, at the base. Um, it almost looks like I have my eyeliner on, but let's go ahead and fill that in and put the eyeliner on. And again, I'm holding my eye just a little. Normally I would put my eyeliner on before my mascara, but I looked so lopsided I couldn't come to you without my mascara on both eyes. And so, and there you go. You see how easy it is to draw the new eyeliner on. Black and brown for now. Um, waterproof like the new lip liners too. I don't have a lip liner on today. Just a simple color, um, adding a pop. And I will give you one tip for lips. Um, if you want your lips to look a little bit fuller, Hint of a gloss. And normally I would do a lighter one than this, but this is the one that's up here for my camera work. And, and then just make sure it blends out. But see how it makes my lips fuller? Why? Light reflection. Light reflection. Because the light is going to hit that brightness and the dewiness of the lip gloss. And that reflection is going to make the ellipse look fuller if you just do it in the center. So. There's your fun tip for that. So um, it, reach out to me if you need to. It's time to update your look. I know a couple of people have been saying it's spring or gosh, I haven't updated my makeup since, you know, before COVID because they weren't wearing it or whatever. So people are just like, I really need a refresh of uh, changing some colors and trying some things. So that's what I'm here to do. Uh, reach out. Let's schedule your 15 minute session. Customize your look and be able to put that together with you. Or let's get together with a few friends and have a little color bar. Um, there are a ton of fun, uh, limited availability on those, but let's get one scheduled for you and we can make that happen. So thanks so much for being here with me. Um, I look forward to connecting with you again soon and we'll be back again.